Hey ladies, I'm back. So this is the final part of the wig. I will be so happy to show you. Um, okay, so what I've done right now is just made a very, very little part in my own hair and it just gelled the sides down. Um, I use Eco Styler Gel. This is the Argan Oil one. A lot of people use the olive oil, but I like this one too. So like I said, I just a small part, just gel the sides down um, because I just don't have that much hair so I can't really just brush it out of the way. Um, and these little hairs on the side right here would actually normally be technically your leave out if you really wanted to. So that is why I've kind of gelled those pieces down because if the hair actually blows back, you don't want it to look all nappy and stuff like that. So you want it to look smooth down and nice. So that's what I've done. So the next thing that I'm going to do is show you my unit right here, which it is all done. I'm so, so excited, part and all. So I did go in there and add the concealer already, if you can see that. Um, I didn't really blend it out because I want to attach it to my scalp first and then we'll blend it in with my hairline. So the next part is going to be to put it on. So give me one moment. Now, when you are um, attaching your wigs or what have you, um, once you've already started to, I'm sorry, once you've began, um, you know, wearing your wigs and like you know how you like to wear, you know the placement and everything like that, you can add combs to your wigs, you can add bobby pins, whatever you need to do. Now, I have two caps on, so I'm trying to adjust the first one um, before I adjust the uh, part. But once you have kind of gotten used to wearing your wigs and you know what position you like it, you can secure it however you want. You don't, there's no right or wrong to how you attach your wigs. It's all about what you want to do because it's your head. I do um, have a comb added to the back of my cap here. So I'm trying to just adjust everything down so it kind of goes all together and doesn't move on me. So now, if you can see, I have actually put my cap, I'm sorry, put my wig on just not all the way to the end of my head because actually, let me show you what I would look like. This is what I look like and I don't really like that look at all. So I push it back um, just a little bit and then once again, just kind of adjust everything so we're not moving all over the place. And then just kind of flatten everything down. So basically that is how I'd be wearing my wigs. Um, so as you can see, these little hairs that I did leave out in the front, those are actually going to be exposed. So thus I did lay them down. So once you've adjusted your unit to the spot that you want to wear, I apologize, I feel like I have hair all over my lip. Um, secure your combs if you have any in there. And then if you're still concerned with, you know, movement of your wig, go ahead and, and just add a couple of bobby pins, just wherever you feel like you need some um, extra security. So I'll go right up under my cap here, add a bobby pin there, and add another one to the other side, just for some added security, just to know that my hair is not going to be flying all over my head. And that's basically all I'm going to do, honestly. There's no more movement that I'm going to do with it. I'm fine with that. So my next step, um, before I get to the parts, I know that's the most important part, um, the next thing is just taking a big brush, just kind of combing the curls out. Um, I did curl my closure piece yesterday, and it is still curled, so I'm not going to redo it. It's just fine. It's big, bouncy, bold curls, so I'm fine with it. Now... Before I actually added my cap back on my head, I did go in and cut some layers because the closure is actually a 12 inch and the hair is 18. So it was a big gap. It was like short right here and then it just got really, really long. So I went in and added layers. I did that to both sides already, so I'm not going to have to cut. But that would be my next step to go in and cut. And while you're cutting, it is best to tie your hair down so you're not pulling and yanking on the unit so it's not getting all loose under there. So now, the next thing that I'm going to do is come in with my BH Cosmetics Concealer Palette. And as you can see, I do use this a lot. But any of these 
lighter colors you can use for your part it doesn't matter now as you can see my part is naturally light as is everyone but what I use this concealer is a little lighter than my natural hairline so one of two things you can do you can either match what you've already concealed and add that same color to your scalp or you just try to blend it and make a color of your own so that's what I'm gonna do kinda go in there and make a color that actually blends with my scalp so as you can see it's really really light in there and also really really light on the hair the way to kinda counteract that is using your finger and you just kinda rub it in so you just play with that color until you get it exactly how you want it and until it blends how you want it so I'm actually going to use my finger because the warmth of your finger actually makes this a little bit easier to apply. And just keep, like I said, just keep adding color until you get it exactly where you want it. And your focus should be right where your cat meets your scalp. So that's the area that you want to focus on. And I'm going to come back with my brush just fill it in just a little bit and don't worry about getting any makeup on the hair because it will come right off or on your hair for that matter then just blending it in with your finger and I don't want to spend too much time on this because I don't want you to be like okay seriously five minutes on a little part right here but the next step that you can do if you have any problems or issues with glue in the hair you're going to be picking the glue out for a little bit um, the hot glue does come out very easily but especially right around the edges you will see that the glue um, does turn white so of course in black hair you can see it very very well but if you ever have an issue with any glue being stuck in your hair just take um, it can be concealer um, it can be anything and just, I'm sorry, not concealer, but it can be um, a cream eyeliner or even an eyeshadow. And then just kind of blend it until you're able to kind of get all those little hairs out. But it will definitely work, I promise, because I do it all the time. And it's no problem because, like I said, um, makeup washes out so you don't have to worry about it messing up your wigs or your hair or anything like that. So, aside from a little bit more blending... Um, basically, I'm done. I'm not really going to do too much more. I'm just going to brush out my edges right here. And basically, I'm finished. Now, I'll get a little bit closer so you can see the actual part, my part. You shouldn't really be able to see um, the transition from my hair to the actual part. Now, like I said, the part that makes it look a little bit more believable is the fact that it's not right on top of my forehead. It is a little bit pushed back into my hairline. And then I did also leave just a little bit of my edges out, so that helps to blend the hair in with yours. But, like I explained before, this is three packs of equal free tress hair and 18 inches. It has been just trimmed up a little bit on the ends, but it's still 18 inches. It is full it's curly it's gorgeous I love it um, also remember this hair is not human hair is a blend so there is synthetic hair in there so you're not going to be able to add your heat and all that now I have not tried to use flexi rods on this hair yet um, because I don't need it but as I continue to wear this hair if it starts to kind of droop or the curls kind of fall out I will definitely try to use my flexi rods and see if it holds up but heat is not allowed on this hair the only area you can add heat is going to be on your invisible part because that is 100% human hair. And I love the closure. If there's anything I can say about it, I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. It's perfect. I can't wait to make another wig with this closure because it is gorgeous. And for $21.99, you can't beat it. So I'll do a turnaround so you can see the whole unit. But I absolutely love it. These curls are amazing. They make me feel so beautiful. Like I cannot wait until I'm able to get dressed, put my makeup on, everything. Because right now I'm just halfway done. But I'm super excited. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know how everyone else's comes out. If you've already tried this, if you've already tried this um, 
part, let me know because I absolutely love it. I will definitely buy this again. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did making it. Stay tuned for more to come.